All right, so please beware if you have a Pixel device, or I guess any device really, and you're using a aftermarket wireless charger. This one I got, don't remember where I got this from. Uh, it's 15 watts, however, the phone is very, very, very hot. See the temperature right there? 103. Uh, started off at 82. And we went from 66% when I put this on to 72%. So it jumped 20 degrees and only rose 6%. Sorry. Um, so we only went up 6% because it started at 66%. And it was at 82 degrees, so we jumped 20 degrees and only 6% in the battery. Plus, you can tell it's not even charging it that fast. Uh, 1.3 milliamps. As you can tell, it's been up to 1.4 and down to 890 uh, for the low. Now, this is not a Google uh, wireless charger. Wireless charger. As you can tell, I have it plugged in down there to a aftermarket fast charger. However, I put it on this blue one and it did the same thing. Now, I don't know if this is specific to this um, charger, but what I can tell you is that I think... Well, I definitely know the factory Google wireless charger is not going to uh, get very hot because it's, it's designed. They have some kind of chip. I think it's NFC. It knows. Your phone will know when you plug it onto a Google uh, wireless charger. But this, you know what? I actually bought this from AliExpress. So this is a little cheap... Um, wireless charger and you can see why I think it only costs a few bucks but look And see how fast it cooled off? It was almost at 103, and I just took it off for like maybe one minute. It 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 came down to uh, it came down three degrees. See, it went down. See, so it cools off pretty quick. Um, however, I I don't have another wireless charger to test. But please be aware if you have any aftermarket wireless chargers that are not uh, Google wireless chargers you're gonna want to be careful because I would not leave this on overnight uh, it would probably not be a good idea let me see if I have any others mm. my little cubby hole with some I thought I might have another wireless charger doesn't look like it well Beware, you've been warned that this charger, wireless charger, will heat up your device. Now, I have not had any issues plugged in. I've plugged it, I've plugged this pixel in uh, both of these uh, with a 
super duper powerful charger plugged in through USB type C and then into the charging brick and no issues whatsoever charges it actually pretty quick um, but it's just it seems that this wireless charger just heats up the device um, see I can feel the heat on this one and this one's nice and cool yeah that one's very cool and that one's hot actually let's see what the regular temp is hang on okay so normal normal temperatures uh, this is the one that's not plugged in and you can tell where my finger is normal te operating temperature is at 78.6 a cool 78.6 degrees Celsius and this one charging and jumped up to 100 so basically increased it by 22 23 degrees and again it was just in just in a few minutes i mean it did not even take that long to get to get hot um i don't know what would happen um if you left this in overnight uh your device might might possibly get damaged due to the prolonged heat um and it's not even worth it because most chargers can charge it you know any basic charger can charge it faster than that um, and as you see here on the discharging battery it's anywhere from 360 let's turn the screen let's, let's see what it's at if it discharges less with the lower display yeah this is going down a little bit now so the brighter your display, the more battery, the more juice it sucks out of the battery. So you keep your your screen low, your brightness low, it'll it'll save. Um, it will save some battery there. So, please be aware if you have again, this thing is hot as hell. Feels hot. So, just please be aware if you have a wireless charger, I wouldn't even risk it. I would buy the Google Charger uh, from the Play Store if you really have to have one. I don't really use it. I've had this in the drawer uh, for forever and just decided to pull it out and uh, try it out. But, um, yeah, I don't use wireless chargers. Um, but uh, I would just plug it in like normal. But if you have to have one, I would definitely choose the Google uh, Play Store wireless charger. Uh, I'll probably put a link for it in the description, but don't, definitely don't use this cheap stuff. Like this stuff from AliExpress, I usually buy cases from there, which are, which are fine. Stuff like this, you got to be careful because on when you buy stuff on Amazon, they all the charging electronics now have to be certified. If you were not aware, certified basically that it won't cause harm. All the charging cables have to be certified. Um, basically by some governing body just basically saying yes they are we've tested this type and or style and or brand and it's okay on the Google Play Store I can guarantee you uh, they make that product for this phone so you won't have any issues there but if you buy these on AliExpress eBay these wireless chargers they're not certified and you can get a, a over heated phone and uh, if you continue to do it over a prolonged amount of time you it'll degrade your battery quite uh, quite a bit i mean the degrading is considerable if you do it prolonged like if you do this every night charging charging your phone um i don't know every night for you know a few months yeah it's going to it's going to harm your battery um battery health and stuff like that it'll just degrade the battery faster but Please be, actually, you know what, hang on, let me plug in this fast one and see what we're at. So that's wireless, let's do this, hang on. Alright, check this out. So, now that's fast charging. I got the, this USB Type-C cable plugged in to my OnePlus fast charger. Now, if you don't know that OnePlus fast charger... It pumps 66 watts of power to the phone. But not only that, it pumps 6 amps. 
to your phone through this cable. Six amps. Uh, uh, that's a ton. You're, you're, you'll hardly ever see that. They don't even hardly even sell six amp uh, chargers uh, on online. Or I guess, you yeah, know, I take that back. You can, I think I've seen a, a couple on Amazon, but you really got to go looking for it. Um, six amps. Now that's the output. That doesn't mean you'll get six amps. Um, but see, it almost, it's at 5530. Once it hits 6,000 milliamps, that's, that's six uh, amps. 1,000 milliamps is one amp. Um, so it is really cranking. If you want a, if you want the absolute, it, this will charge it faster than the stock Pixel charger, because I think that's only, I think that's still at three amps. Most fast chargers are only three amps. Now that's one of the ways that OnePlus can charge their phones in about thirty, from zero to one hundred and thirty minutes. They just throw a ton of juice at it. Now they also have two battery cells in there. Which charges if you have a full twenty? Uh, excuse me, if you have a full five thousand milliamp battery, and then you basically cut it in half, and then you uh, you run it in parallel um, uh, circuitry power to the device. So basically, you take a five thousand milliamp battery like what's in here, cut it in half, so you'll have two twenty five hundred milliamp batteries, and then you're just charging that. You're just charging those two. Um, Smaller batteries at the same time, right? But it all equals, it still equals 5,000, which it's rated at the battery. But that's how they can charge them super duper fast. This one only has one cell. Uh, but look how fast it's charging it. And look, it's not overheating. Now, it'll get a little warm. See, it's at 85.1. That one's at 101. Oh, look, it's only 12. It's basically 1.2 amps. That's ridiculous. And we got 56. Look at that. That thing is chugging. So look, if you want the absolute fastest charger for your phone, this will even charge your phone faster than, like I said, the any of your stock chargers. Um, even I, I use this. Um, damn, I use this, that one plus charger down there. I right there. I use that for my uh, Samsung. I can even charge my laptop down there on my computer right there. I run it off the laptop through HDMI cable. This will charge your laptop. It has so much. It's PD, uh, 2.0, I believe, 66 watts, uh, six amps. Um, now you can find those online. I think it's about 30 bucks. That's the absolute. Not many people know this, but that's the absolute. That well, not absolute the fastest because you know I've seen some hundred watt chargers out there, but this is unique because it pumps six amps. To your device most of uh, all you'll see again is like maybe three maybe four uh but you're hardly ever going to see six amps it's just not so you got to go now don't buy it from a you got to be careful because there's some fake ones out there you can find them online just search uh one plus 10 t uh super fast charger and uh they should come up but Look, let's just let's see um, how hot it is getting. It went up one degree. It'll probably max out at. See, it went from fifty to fifty fifty seven in what just three minutes. And this one's still sitting at seventy eight. Now this will get a little warm, but this one is hot on the right with the wireless charger. That's hot feeling. And that's still a cool feeling. So now this will raise probably to 92, 3, 4, something like that. But it does not get alarming. It does not get hot to the touch. Sure, it's warm, but all phones get warm when you charge it with a really, really good charger. Uh, all electronics do. Um, but this one is hot to the touch. And this one is still relatively easy to the touch. So um, beware of these wireless chargers. And if you want the absolute fastest charging uh, option available for your Pixel, go get you a OnePlus uh, charger. And hang on, uh, let me grab it real quick, show you. Okay, so I got the charger here, and let's see. If we can read it, it's very, very, very small print. So this is the model number. If you want the absolute fastest charging option, not only for your uh, Pixel, but again, for your Samsung, this will charge your laptop. 
Okay, so it's a 65 watt Super Voc. Super V O O C. And there's the model number, I believe. R39518 power supply unit. Now, it is certified. You see all the certifications on the bottom, and you can actually scan that QR code and it'll take you to all of its certifications. Now, the model is VCA7JBUH. Now, the output 5 volts at 3 amps, 10 volts at 6.5 amps, 65 watts max. Oh, this has the PPS charging as well. Okay, so that's why. Uh, PD. Oh, five one nine volts. Yeah. Wow. So you could you could obviously tell that it was pushing the nine volts. Excuse me, it was pushing a ten volts six and a half. Okay, so this is rated at six point five amps. Now the phone, as you as you saw, it was getting five point six amps. Sixty five watt max. So this is the one plus charger. Uh, da uh, they don't call it dash charging anymore, but they used to. But um, you got the model number. You can go find this one here online. Uh, I may actually link it in the description. But this is the absolute fastest charger we got in the home. Now check this out, real quick. Hang on, let me pause it. Okay, so I put back the One Plus charger. Now just to show you, compare. I plugged this uh, Pixel in. Look, it's only running. Well, it's still pretty good. Thirty six, four thousand. 4 amps, or 4.3 amps. Let's, we'll check it in a second. Now, I got it plugged into this one right here. This is a Element um, PD uh, fast charger. I believe it's rated at, I think, 45 watts. Let's see where it's at. But, it's only 3 amps. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Forty. So it jumped up. Now it's leveling out. And the One Plus charger again uh, plugged into any of my devices. It never gets hot. Again, they have circuitry in here that that limits the amount of charging the phone, and 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 the charger as well. They both they talk to each other with over USB Type C through the cable, and the phone will tell the. Uh, these new um, charging bricks, the phone inside will actually tell the charger if it needs more power or if it's too much power and it'll jump down a level. And that's why you see it jumping real high and then it'll go down a bit. It's, it's talking to the uh, charging brick to basically how much power it needs and or can take. Um, so that's just under 4 amps. Now it's at 2.7 amps, 3.1, see it jumping back up, 4.1, 4, wow, 4.5, what the hell, 4.2, 3.6, 27, this is normal at first, it'll level out, it's, again, it's communicating with the brick as far as how much power it, it, it will allow, um, and that's pretty typical for all newer um, pretty typical now for all newer uh, bricks, especially Type C. Um, but it'll level off right around three. I believe it'll average around three amps. I believe it's rated for a three amp charging charger. As you could tell, the One Plus was just below six amps, I mean, five point five or five point seven amps. Um, and the more amps, the more the uh, faster you can charge. What? Uh, the watts matter as well, but uh, also you got to look at the amps. Don't forget that. But um, the very fastest one you can get is that one plus charger, and it will not damage your phone. And you, I bet you can get it about same price or cheaper than the official. I think the official Google Pixel charger was thirty dollars. I saw it last night. Um, and you can get one of these. You can get the one plus charger down there uh, that charges it super fast for. Uh, Think about the same price. Uh, well, probably less. I think less. This one's still doing a good job. It just won't charge it. This one still charges fast. Oh, look. And it will say... 
charging rapidly. That's the other thing I was going to show you. Charging rapidly. And then this one should, oh, this one's not plugged in. Wireless charger. Let's see if it still works even if it's not plugged in. Nope. So it'll have to say wireless charger on there. Charging rapidly. So now charging this from, from, from my testing, it charges, it charges, um, here's the deal with these pixels. The OnePlus phones will basically go from zero to 100. Like I said, I think technically it's in 29 minutes. So it's literally, uh, when I used to have my OnePlus phones, you'd set it down. I would always plug it in when you like brush your teeth and wash your face. You know, it takes what, five, 10 minutes and you know, whatever, uh, not really in a hurry. Um, but you plug it in while you uh, brush your teeth, wash your face, and you pumped 70, you're, you know, you're almost, almost at full. Um, with this, and there's no slowing down. The point I'm getting at is with this Pixel, uh, excuse me, <laughs> with the OnePlus, it charges from zero to 100 and there's no variation. It's boom. It's like a Ferrari, uh, a Ferrari taking off, zero to 60. It's like get to 100 as fast as possible. Now, for you Pixel users or uh, people that have not used Pixels, what Pixel does, now this may frustrate some, uh, it does frustrate me. Some don't matter. Some don't care. I I do. Uh, so with these Pixel phones, it'll charge pretty quick from zero to fifty. In fact, when you plug it in, you're gonna like if you're at like twenty three percent. You plug it in. You walk away for a few minutes. You come back, and it's at like forty five percent in a few minutes. You're like, well, not a few minutes, but you're like, damn, it's really it's really quick from zero to 50. Now, from 51 to 100% is where it slows down. And you need to take off, I don't know if they have, I think ours, because when I got these out of the box, they were only charging to 80%, and duh, it hit me after, you know, a few seconds. Um, the charging, uh, what was it? The charging optimization was turned on by default, I believe, where it only goes to 80%. And they do that on purpose, so if you keep your phone, most people that buy these are, eh, they might tell, they might not, because the battery percentage is not up there in the, uh, is not up here Well, when you get this stock. It's just a notification bar. They only charge, they only had this uh, to go to 80%, and that's too pro, because remember, they're going to support this phone for seven years. Can a battery last for seven years? I don't know, that's really stretching it, but I think Google turned on battery optimization out the box, so, and they know people like myself are gonna take that off because we wanna charge it to 100. What battery optimization, or charging optimization, it only charges it to 80%. It never hits 100 because they the more you charge your battery on uh, night after night after night, the more you charge it, the more you top it off and cap it out, over time it degrades the battery. Remember, they just extended how long they're going to support this. So it's going to go up to seven years. I bet Google is betting on most people are not going to want to replace this battery after five years, right? So they need to protect the battery health. And I think they implemented that uh, charging optimization to help the battery not degrade over time. Let me see if I can find it in the settings. So we'll go to that is it battery optimization or is it adaptive battery? Adaptive battery may reduce performance and background activity. Well, screw that. I want all the performance. Let's go to optimization, okay? Watch. I don't think that's it, damn it. 
<laughs> what did he say? Charging? Adaptive charging, duh. <laughs> okay. This was turned on by default. That only charges it to 80%. See how fast? It's already at 69%. Um, now, this charges it to 80% and won't go any higher. And again, they do that to try to lessen the load on the battery of how many cycles it has. The more cycles, the more the battery is going to degrade. So... Uh, but anyways, that's turned on. So when you get your when you get your pixel or check your pixel now, if you didn't do it or you can't remember, go, all you do I'm gonna turn this off. All you do is go to because you want as much power as possible. Adaptive charging is adapting to your cycle. No, I don't want you to adapt to my cycles. I want you to charge my phone as fast as possible. So if you can't remember, just go to turn that off or do what you want. I'm turning it off. But to get there, you go to. Uh, just search for adaptive charging up here in the settings bar. Adaptive charging, boom, it's right there. Okay, now, um, now charging it from, let's see where it's, so the temp hadn't got that high, 95, it's not that bad. This one was getting, well, I turned it off, but. So, charging it from 0 to 100, I mean, excuse me, 0 to 50 is pretty quick. And then when it gets to 51, going up to 100, it's kind of, it's pretty slow. Uh, I'd say pretty slow, but it's slower than from 0 to 50. Uh, I think that even with the charging optimization turned off, it's still that way. I don't know why. Um, I don't. I think they're. Well, I do know why they're trying to preserve battery life basically that's why that's why they're doing it but it's programmed in there i don't know if you can do anything about it uh i doubt it you probably uh, no nah, i don't think i don't think you can do anything about it so you could probably root your phone and but i, I don't even think that's possible it's just, it's just the way it is again the different strategies and philosophies one plus zero to 129 minutes and well shoot there's a xiaomi phone now that goes zero to 100 in um 13 minutes I did a video on it actually, uh, probably a few months ago. But um, 13 minutes zero to 100 is fast. But those don't those those batteries typically don't last. Obviously, last as long, and they, I think they only supported three to four years for Android. Probably three years for Android updates. Um, but uh, Google's trying to prolong the life of this device, so that's why they've taken it easy on the charging. But people like me, it's hard to get used to. I I still want. Samsung has increased every year slowly, and Google's slow, even slower, increasing the charging speeds ever so slightly. And Samsung, I think my S23 Ultra is at, I don't even remember. It's not like 40 or 45, no, is it 45 watts? I don't know. But it used to be just, I don't think it's 45. It used to be 27 watts just... A year or two ago, while we're getting 66 or 65 watt chargers, there's even the one that the Xiaomi that charges zero to 100 in 13 minutes. It's got like a 120 watt charger. So, um, and uh, look, I want mine as fast as possible. Now, if we had one that went to zero to 100 in 13 minutes, I would want some kind of Perform like what are you gonna plug it in overnight and then just lay it there? Look, I know it's 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 safe, uh, rel you know should be well, yeah it's safe, um, because I think what they do once it hits 100 it doesn't just continuous 120 watts uh, to your phone for six hours while you're still sleeping, it bumps it back bumps the power down because you know you've hit 100 so th there's they've designed these very 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 um, smart. Uh, over the last few years, but Samsung slowly getting better with charging speeds. I be, I think what it is is this new S24 Ultra is supposed to be 45 watts. I think that's what it is. But even them, even Samsung won't won't bump it up to you know zero to 100 in 30 minutes. You know I think this S23 Ultra still takes uh, a little bit less than an hour, but you know it's, it's got to deal with. But um, uh, just be careful with the wireless chargers. 
and I would only recommend you using one only if it's from the Google Play Store. Now, you won't typically hear me say that because I'm always about getting the best deal, and I'm never, I'm hardly ever, uh, going to pay for full price. I always find the best deal, um, and, you know, I'm not going to say you always need to buy it from Google, but on this product, yes. But cases, Bluetooth, whatever, you can get it cheaper somewhere else, but... I would only trust the wireless charger from Google if you're wanting to wirelessly charge this device, especially overnight. Um, plugged in, it's fine. Uh, but wireless, get it from the Play Store. And I, matter of fact, I'll link it in the description box below. I'm going to link it for you so you can check it out yourself. And uh, I'll see if I can find one of those uh, OnePlus chargers as well so you can use for your phone. It, it does make a difference. It does. It, it charges it faster. The OnePlus charger charges your Pixel faster than the uh, charging brick that's on the Google Play Store, guaranteed. Um, so uh, I'll see if I can find one and link it in the description box as well. But let me get out of here. I'll see you later. Peace.